Hi there, it's your boy A-Square. I'm glad to be back this week. I hope you guys are doing well. I've been working with dancers, performing artists for more than four years now. And I thought in this video that I would share some of my experience to help you guys with your dance photography. I believe there are three ways to capture a performing artist or a dancer. Option A, you let him do his thing, you let him improvise, dance, perform, and you hope and pray you will catch that epic moment. This method is maybe the best for your dancer. For you, the drawback is that you will have to sacrifice a precise framing and composition, and you will have no control on the light, the shadows, anything that's going on on your subject. It's a little bit like a live performance on stage, or a dance battle, you absolutely have no control whatsoever on what's going on there. Option B, you actually decide beforehand with your dancer what you're going to capture. Whether I'm posing the artist or catching a movement, I'm trying to be as precise as possible. I'm working with strobes, so I, I need to know where he's looking, um, where are his legs, where are his arms, his hands. Uh, everything, every detail is important. And in my recent work, I've been playing a lot with shapes, frames, lines, the background, the environment is really important for me. The drawback here is for the dancer, he has to execute a really short movement or action, and he somehow has to fake it to give the sense of a real performance. Option C is kind of a mix of option A and option B. It's the best of both worlds. You ask your performer to execute an entire movement at least a little bit longer than option b and you decide with him what you're going to capture exactly inside that movement this lets your performer or dancer stay in a performance state somehow and it will give much more authenticity to your final shot of course less freedom than option a and less control for you than option b but, but of course you cannot have it all. Of course there are no perfect solutions. It all depends on what you wish to create and what you feel comfortable with. Personally, I use option B and C. Option A, it reminds me too much of the days when I used to cover live events and live stage performances. I need to have control on my scenes. So now let's go deeper. How do I actually do it? Number one, location. You may have understood by now that locations are maybe for me one of the most important thing, important elements in my photography. It will help me and guide me to choose the colors, the outfits, even the pose and movements that I will choose with the artist I'm shooting with. Once I found my location, once I have my scenes in my head, I will discuss with the performer and tell him what I'm looking for, the impact I want to have on the viewer, uh, the type of feeling I want people to feel when looking at the pictures and the story I want to tell. Number two, once we decided what to do, I'm trying to sync literally with the performer, you know, having the same beat, the same feel, the same flow. Sometimes I even impose a rhythm because my goal is to make one with the artist. This helps me to nail the shot. Number three, if you are having a hard time trying to find a pose or a movement to capture, use your environment, extend lines, use shapes, use frames. I don't know, watch my video on composition. It might help. Number four, know your performer. Don't ask them to do crazy back bends or jumps only to discover moments later that it's not their thing. I personally need to know who I'm working with. So what I do is I watch their videos if they have any or I go to their shows. Shooting performers for more than four years now helps me have a deeper understanding on when, how and what to capture. Number five, make it clear. Yes, make it clear. We got to understand what's going on in your picture when we look at it. Where's the face, the legs, the arms? Where is, is everything placed? Do we really understand what's going on? If, he's, if your subject is kind of falling or the movement feels incomplete, you have to do it again. Have your performer or artist, whatever, check the photos, check their technique. If they're not satisfied with their technique, even if the light and framing is perfect, the picture's not good. Number six, only call your artist to perform when everything is set. 
uh, you don't want to wear them out. You don't want to injure him. You don't want to push them too far. Somehow you have to keep them fresh. Ask him regularly if they're doing okay, if physically everything is okay, and if they want to continue, which leads me to number seven. Please communicate with your artists. Come on, they are human beings. Communication for me is really, really important. I have to have the artists with me and have them involved in the process. This really will only lead you to greater images. Number eight, get your camera settings right. What is your goal? What are you trying to capture? Are you trying to freeze movement or do you want motion blur in your pictures? These things has to be thought through. You cannot go on set and not know what you're doing. Uh, are you trying to freeze movement with your flash or trying to do the same thing, but with your shutter speed? I am working with strobes. I'm working with the brown color zero cell. And depending on the situation, I'm freezing movement with the speed mode of the flash or with the HSS mode. But this can be the topic of a future video. And number nine, last but not least, really, this is a really important tip I will give you guys. Make it fun. Oh, Make it fun for you. Make oh, it fun for your crew <laughs> and the artists you're actually shooting. That's it, guys. I hope this video will help you in your future dance photography projects or any images. Uh, involving a performer. Like all my recent videos, you will find in the description box below a link to a blog post with a little bit more details and examples. Like and share this video even if you didn't like it. Yes, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and yes, 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 I will see you guys next Tuesday. Whoa.